Hi everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. I'm so happy to have you here today and if you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun, crafty content we have coming. You can subscribe by simply clicking the little button right down there and it is totally free. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing something that is really fun and also super inexpensive, which is great because you know me, I love an inexpensive craft. All you're going to need is a spatula from the Dollar Tree, a Cricut Maker, and the engraving tool, and I'll link everything that we're using for this down below. But we're going to engrave on a spatula, and I can't wait to show you how easy this is to do. We're going to be using some engraving fonts, and I know it's probably hard for you guys to see from there, but it says, I flip and love you with some little hearts. But we're going to use a font that looks really cool when you engrave it, and I'll also give you guys a list of fonts that look great with engraving or writing, and I will link that down below for you as well. I absolutely love using my engraving tool on all sorts of things, but this metal spatula is one that is so fun and so easy. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to set this up to design it, how to pick out a great font, and then how to engrave. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. The first thing that we need to do to engrave our spatula is to make a little template to use. So I've measured my spatula and I've got about two and a half by about three-ish to work with. Probably want to go a little bit smaller than that. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to take this square. I'm going to unlock it using the lock button right here. I'm going to make it 2.5 wide and three high. And that's the area where we can design in for our spatula. Now I hate that gray, so I'm going to just going to change it to the light gray. I just prefer it so that I can see stuff better. And then what I want to do is select some text. So I know that I want to do I flippin' love you, but I want to do the I and the love you part in a different text than I want to do the flippin'. So I want to use like a font that'll work really well when it comes to engraving. So what I'm going to do is look at wordmark.it to find a really good engraving font because I know for a fact I've got some downloaded on my computer. So what I'm going to do is under wordmark, I can just type in my text, whatever I want. And then all I have to do is look at my fonts. Now I did just look at something earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and click show all fonts. And it's gonna bring me up all the fonts that are downloaded onto my computer. Now it can take a second, so just give it a moment. And once it does that, what I can do is I can go through and find any of the fonts that I use for um, engraving or writing that look like they're more filled in. Um, I have quite a few selected. I can't remember any of their names right this second, but as we scroll, I will find them. So if you want it to be a little more bold, um, you can use a bolder font that I've got. But like if you want something that is more thin, the Daisy Ray is a great one. Dear Agatha works pretty well too. Um, Europe Underground is a great one for that as well. But I want mine to be a little more bold. And I have some that are like made for chalk fonts um, or sketch fonts. Those work really, really well. So all I have to do is scroll through and find the ones that I'm specifically looking for, which like I said, since I don't remember the names, this might take me a second to locate some of them. But like right here, we have Milano Traffic. This is a great one because it looks like a sketch and I'll select anything I think that will work um, for like a sketch look so that you guys can see them. But all you do is you just find fonts that are like sketched fonts and I'll put a list of them that I like down below. Like this Organic Fridays lined one works pretty well too. Um, but I'll put a list, like I said, a link to a list of some of the ones that I really like below because there are several that work really, really well and are so, so cute. Um, Sippin' on Sunshine is a great one. That one works really well. We have Sketch Nice, Sketch 3D, Sketchy, Sketch Free Trial, Sketchy Craft. So as you can see, a lot of them say Sketch in the name. So it does make them pretty easy to find when you want to use them for something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish scrolling through. I don't have a ton. So I'm going to go to filter selected fonts. And now we can look at the fonts. I'm going to get rid of the ones that I accidentally didn't remove from our last thing that we looked at. And if you want to see them bigger, you just click on them and you see kind of how that one looks and close that. And then you can look at this one and this one will write um, a little bit more thin, but it looks pretty cool. Sippin' on Sunshine is really fun one. That one looks really good. Sketch 3D is so stinking cute. Um, this one is sketch nice and I do like this one a lot. I think that one works really well. This, um, sketch up free trial one is also pretty cute, really easy to read. And then we have the, I love you sketchy. This one's a little bit different just cause it will have some, um, non filled in areas. 
And then this one doesn't really do the filled in look, so we wouldn't use that one. So I'm going to get rid of that one. But I think we're going to actually use a uh, sketch 3D for this because I think that's like perfect and kind of what I'm looking for. So back over in design space, I just need to go and select my font and under system fonts, I can close this and I can just look for the word sketch because we know that that's basically the title. And then all we need to do is find sketch 3D. Now there are a couple other ones that we could choose from as well, like this um, KL Chicka Sketch. It doesn't show me a preview of it, but this one is like a thin font that works. And then there's also um, this one that we missed selecting, which is the HB Sketch Demo. And I really like this one. And this might be what we use for the um, law or the uh, flip in part. But let's go ahead and we're going to use the Sketch 3D for I Love You because I think that really would be cute. And honestly, I think we might just do flipping in here too. So let's go ahead and add that to our text. We just have to double click on the text and then we can add the word. So we're just going to go, I flip and love you. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these all on separate lines and then I'm going to do advanced and I'm going to ungroup to lines. That way I can move each of these individually so that I can kind of place them a little bit different from how I, you know, might do it normally. Now I am going to like zoom in once I get all the words fit so that you can see it better because I know it is a little difficult to kind of see the details when you make it a lot smaller. Now, obviously the word flipping is kind of a long word, so we're going to need to make it a little smaller than some of the other words, but I think that's okay. I think it'll look really cute regardless. And then I'm going to just do love and I might change kind of where I have things. And what happened there was my bounding box moved. So I just need to kind of adjust that a little bit. And there we go. And then we'll just kind of adjust where we have stuff. You can put things wherever you want to. It's up to you. And then sometimes that'll happen where it's like, oh, you wanted to select that and mm, too bad. So it just moves around. You just have to find it on your screen again. But I'm going to probably add some little hearts because I think that would be fun. And I think we might center the eye. All right. I think that looks good. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm gonna select all my fonts and I'm gonna align them and center them. I wanna center them horizontally. That way they're all lined up. Then I'm gonna add some hearts. Now the thing is with the hearts, they're just gonna be an outline, but that's completely okay. I'm fine with that. I think that'll still look really cute with our design. I think that might be a little big compared to what I wanted to do. So I'm just gonna copy that by using Control C, paste it using Control V, and then just put another heart over here. Then what I'm going to do is select my two hearts and I'm going to align them. And those ones I want to center vertically. I think that looks pretty good, pretty darn cute. I think that's exactly like the way I want it to look. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this square for just a second. And then I'm going to select everything right here. I want to go to my operation and I want to change that to engrave. Now what you're going to see is it's going to look like the hearts went um, just to an outline, which is correct. But I'm going to zoom in so that you can see the font better. And give me just a second. I got to zoom in pretty close because this is pretty small. And then I want to just scroll you up a little bit. But now you can see where it's going to engrave. So it's going to engrave a lot of little lines. Because this is a smaller design, it's going to look just fine. It's going to look really cute on this spatula. But there are a lot of options. Now, I think I am going to size it down just a touch more because I want to just make sure that it's going to fit on the spatula. So now that I'm happy with that, what I want to do is select my entire design and I'm going to go ahead and attach it. If I don't attach it, it's going to move everything on our make it screen and we definitely don't want to do that. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to save the design and I'm just saving it as I flip and love you and just click save. That way you don't have to go back and like redo anything if something goes wrong and you mess up, whatever. It's saved and you don't have to worry about it. Now all we have to do is click make it and we do need to do something over here on our um, mats because you can't put the spatula all the way up at the top of the mat. The spatula needs to go at the bottom of the mat, the very, very bottom. So you'll see now we have this really small design. So what I do is I use my grids on my mat to line up my items. So for this one, I like to do it centered so that my star wheels aren't in the way because you don't want those to run over this. 
And I just find using the six as my center point just works a lot better for me. So I'm just gonna center that down all the way to the bottom. And all I'm gonna do is line that up. And then you can use this line right here, the nine, to really give you kind of a good spacing. But I think if I just put it right below that nine, we're gonna be just fine for our engraving. I'll take you over to the machine and show you how to put your spatula down, because you're gonna wanna make sure this is held down really, really well onto your mat, and to make sure that everything is lined up. The first thing that we'll need to do is to put our spatula onto our mat. I'm using a strong grip mat, highly recommend using that. And then this is our spatula, it's a little dirty, but that's okay. I will clean it off when it's done. But what we'll do is you find the center, which is right here, which is this crosshair. And I center my spatula to that. So remember I said I had about like two and a half wide and about three tall. Now, I'm gonna find where the little edge of my spatula is, where it starts to kind of go up. And I wanna line that up with the bottom of the mat, like the bottom line. And then all I'm gonna do is kind of wiggle this around until I'm happy where I think it's centered. Once I'm happy with centering, I'm gonna take some painter's tape. You wanna make sure that you tape your spatula down. Now I did just totally move it, so I'm gonna just readjust a little bit. And you do wanna tape it down, so I'm gonna tape all the corners of my spatula down. That way it's gonna be well held down. You wanna try to make sure you're not gonna tape over anywhere that it's going to engrave because you're not going to get a very good engraving. But I just give it some tape all around. And then I'm going to go right here. And now mine isn't going to engrave along the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and just for my own sanity, just so I make sure that it's well held down, I'm just going to put a little extra tape down just because I like to be a little more cautious with this. Okay, I'm going to leave this part open, should be fine. So now we have our machine and we need to do a couple things. First thing is make sure your white star wheels, which are these wheels here, these little white ones, are pushed to the sides. Next, I'm gonna need to change out my tool. I was using my, dark, my deep point blade, but now I wanna make sure that I'm using my engraving tool. So I just need to locate that one and that is this tool here for the Cricut Maker. This is tool number 41. It's part of our quick swap housing. I wanna line up those gold gears close my clamp B and then I'm ready to start engraving. I'm gonna leave you guys pretty close view of this so that you can see this a lot better once we get started with the actual engraving. I chose the stainless steel engraving option. I'm gonna load the mat, now you won't see the spatula right away, but the spatula's just down here. It's gonna pull the mat in. I've got the design at the bottom of the mat on our Cricut, so we're ready to go. I'm gonna hit that button. I am going to stay close by just to make sure that the spatula doesn't fall off or anything like that. And we're gonna go ahead and get this engraved. So the spatula is all the way at the bottom, so I'll go ahead and slide this up a little bit. I'm gonna unload, and then all I'm gonna do is take the spatula off of the mat. So I'm just gonna grab the tape and peel that off. And I will clean the spatula up. It's got my fingerprints all over it from like pressing it down and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this off, but this came out so adorable. I'm so excited about this. I cannot wait because I'm gonna actually give this as a gift. And this is like a super easy way that you can do a gift. It's really fun to put like somebody's last name on it or something like that. But I'll give you guys like a quick look at it and then I'm gonna clean it up and get you guys a way better look because I know it looks terrible right now. Here is the finished spatula. I think it came out so stinking cute, so fun. I absolutely think this was such a fun process to do. If you guys have any questions, by all means, leave those in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those. 
I'm going to get you guys pretty close so you can get a good look at this, but it might get a little blurry. So let me see if I can get it to focus just a little bit. It's tough with the lighting um, because if I turn the lights off, you can't really see it. But I think this is such a fun process. This spatula was just from the Dollar Tree. Super inexpensive, really great extra gift that you can add to a stocking, to maybe a little gift basket. These are also really fun to do for events. So if you're doing like a basket, like for a raffle, you can add a little spatula to them. Super inexpensive and really easy to do with your Cricut. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, happy crafting.